someone has a big personal brand and when someone takes on that front-facing role and they, they're willing to be the face of the brand and they're, re- they're willing to get out there with an opinion and get out there with some thoughts uh, about how the world should work or how the industry should work, what happens is that person then attracts talent and they attract overlings, not underlings. So what, what tends to happen is that uh, you'll see someone like a Gary Vaynerchuk, he actually attracts people who are way better than him. So people go, oh, I'd like to work at work at the VaynerMedia yeah. because you know Gary's just pulling in some interesting clients and he's 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 got an opinion and I like the opinion. Some people don't, but I like it. You know, let's say. Um, so what happens is these overlings come in. So you end up surrounding yourself with talent, this talent layer. And what happens with the talent layer is, is as the talent layer sets in, you're actually required less and less in the business doing anything functional, and then you get out there more and more, kind yeah. of voicing the opinion. And as you get out there more and more voicing your opinion, you end up sending good good clients into the talent layer. And as the good clients come in, more talent arrives and suddenly there's this transfer of power. 